Hey doodlers, I thought I'd put together this little video tutorial to show you guys how to work with the music when you are pairing it up with your voiceover. Okay, I'm just going to go over some things like how to shorten the music, how to make it a little bit longer, that kind of thing, so that when you put a voiceover in and you want to have some of the music going along with it, you can kind of time it out. I know this stuff is in the Doodly, official Doodly tutorials. But just in case you haven't seen them yet and you've bumped into my video first, maybe this will help you. And then you can go ahead and watch theirs as well and you'll, you'll get double knowledge. So anyway, I have gone ahead and I have uploaded a voiceover um, or actually dragged in a voiceover that I had already used in the past. All right, so this is about a minute and 10 seconds long. And then I went in here and I grabbed this this little track which is about two minutes long and just as a quick fyi you want to make sure whatever music you're using you have the commercial rights to use so anything that you see already included in the doodly software they've made it so that you can use it but if you're going to go on the outside and start dragging audio tracks in you really do want to make sure that you've got commercial rights to use it so Anyway, as you can see here, the music, because this is where your music would go if you're doing both, okay? This is where the music would go. This is where I typically put the voiceover, all right? And this is where your voiceover would go if you're going to record it live as you go along. In this case, you see the music starts uh, approximately two seconds in, whereas my voiceover is starting approximately a second in, all right? If that's something that's going to bother you, then what I would suggest you do, record your voiceover and then choose a track as you drag it in that might start a little bit earlier. Okay, either that or if you choose the music, then when you do your voiceover, maybe maybe start the voiceover around the time or just just beyond when the music would start. So if you're using a program like Audacity to do the voiceover, you know, maybe start talking around, I don't know, two, three seconds into the into the recorder. Otherwise, or if you're doing your voiceover live, then you would do that as well. OK, however, if that doesn't bother you, then it's fine. This is going to kind of fade in. And um, it wouldn't bother me, but like I said, if it bothers you, then that's something to think about. So I'm going to scroll along here. As you can see, again, my voiceover stops at about a minute and 10 seconds. The music, however, is going to go to about two minutes. Okay, so what I'm going to show you is you would hover over the very end here and you want to get to where you see that little symbol that across arrow and what you're going to do is you're going to left click and drag okay and you can go along here and just keep doing it until you line it up okay Something like that. I usually like to have it maybe just beyond my voiceover. All right, so now we've got them lined up. But let's say that you have a minute and 10 seconds long. No, let's say that your voiceover is, I don't know, three minutes long. But, you know, you find the music track and it's only like two minutes long. In that case, what I do, I would drag it in a second time. <laughs> and you would want to make sure that they are lined up. And you'll know if it's green or if it's red, then that means it's not going to work. If it's green, go ahead and do it. Okay. So, and then if you want to get rid of it, you scroll to the end and click the little X button. Now to fade this out, what you're going to do is you're going to right click that. And you have the opportunity to fade in, fade out, or delete it in general. Because it's the end, we're going to fade it out. You would fade it in at the beginning. And as you can see, it kind of changes that to a point. So if you're in doubt as to whether or not you've done that, that'll tell you. All right? You can do the same thing with your voiceover. So 
that actually, in a nutshell, is how you lessen the time or, you know, make your music longer. You can't actually drag a music track out and make it longer in Doodly, but you can add the same music track in right after it. Yes, you will have a pause in between as far as the music goes, but again, in my own videos, it has not been a problem. But if it is a problem for you, that is where you might consider working, you know, with some more advanced uh, software. You know, I know that I think in Audacity, you can take the music and you can line it up right next to each other and do all that editing stuff and maybe have the tracks play one right after the other. That's not something I can teach you to do, but I'm pretty sure that information is out there. So like I said, guys, in a nutshell, I just wanted to show you how to do that. <clears throat> All right. So your voiceover, that's where you would adjust the volume there. Your music, that's where you would adjust the volume there. I would highly suggest you consider reducing the sound of your music considerably if you want your voiceover to be heard. I usually take mine to about used to take it to about, I don't know, 11%, but lately I've been doing it closer to like 8%, okay? And one other quick thing I want to show you. You have options here. Actually, I just clicked. These are the default settings of your video. You can change the settings for each individual scene right here. However, if you want, say, your, your, um, your voiceover stops, but, you know, you have an extra screen that kind of keeps going or the music kind of keeps going a little bit. You want that last screen to kind of hang out for a bit. You want to make sure that you change this right here. OK, by default, it's usually going to go when the animation ends. You want to change it to both the animation and the audio end because that is where you'll have some extra time to show whatever it is you want to show when your voiceover and the music and all that stuff ends, okay? I hope this was helpful. And this is, in a nutshell, how you work with, you know, timing out your music. And, you know, again, just remember, use commercial-free stuff. Like I said, the stuff already in Doodly you are allowed to use, but when you start dragging stuff in from the outside, it's going to be questionable. And you don't want that after you've put all the time and effort into your video you just don't want that to come back and bite you. All right, guys, I hope this has been helpful. And until next time, take care.